There's a lot to be said about Roger Ailes, and I think that there will some people who will say he did a lot of horrific things, um, but he also did a lot of nice things. He promoted people. He was good at giving bonuses. He made a lot of careers for even women. Um, and certainly he is a complex character in that regard. But, you know, a lot of our world's monsters these days have, have become that. I mean, Harvey Weinstein gave so much money to charities you couldn't imagine. And he was, quote unquote, helpful in that regard. So, um, you know, while Roger Ailes is certainly the villain, there there's definitely, um, you know, other sides to the story that people, you know, wanted to point out. It's certainly um, important that Charlize is a producer and a real creative force on this film, you know. Um, she's really risen to become one of our not only great actresses, but great producing talents as well. Um, and I think that was really important for me, certainly, to feel like there was going to be a strong female voice in the driver's seat along with the filmmakers to um, not only add that authenticity, but just that perspective. Jay Roach is a really great directing choice for this film, I think, because he has such a strong comedic background and he's also such a deeply sensitive and sweet human being. You don't often find a filmmaker like that telling a political story. Um, so I think it, it really provides a nice balance of, you know, a quite dramatic political film, but that also has a, a warmth to it um, and also has a really good sense of humor, you know, as evidenced by, you know, the countless comedians that he's actually cast in the film.